Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Life Is Me. Today I have another Goulet Pens unboxing. So I've been on a kick of trying new fountain pens and I'm trying not, I have a collector's thing. And I know, um, what is that lady's name? She has her own channel, Talks From The Heart. What is her name? I don't know, I'm not great with names. Um, what is her name? I don't remember. Anyway, Talks From The car Heart, she talks about how she has collection addiction, collection obsession, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm like that too. Once I get something, I wanna collect it. Like I want all the vanishing points, but I know I have to stop myself because I already have my holding grail, but I wanted to get a sailor fountain pen and then I got on the fairy tale series. I ordered one and now I have another one on the way. So I haven't even unboxed the first one. Anyway, this is the one I got. This is my sticker from Goulet Pens. I don't have this one yet, I don't think. And it's a bottle of Pilot ink. The Pilot Rushizuku inks. It's so pretty, like it's got like a night scenery. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And then my stuff was packaged by Anita at Goulet Pens. And here it is. It's the Shikiori Fairy Tale series. And this one is sky blue and the point is medium fine. And I think these ones only come in medium fine. So there wasn't really a choice. But I don't know. Should I use the ink that comes with it or should I ink it up with my own? Or does it? I'm sure it comes with a cartridge, right? Look at how beautiful this color is. I love it. It's so pretty. Oh, I guess I have to cut this one open. It's sealed, not like, you know, sometimes they are stuck like that. Okay, let me see. Okay, luckily I had some scissors handy, so. Here it is. It's so pretty. Look at it. I love how, like, you can see the glow. It almost looks like it glows to me. It's so pretty. Anything underneath? The instructions. Oh, and it does have an ink cartridge. Should I just use the ink cartridge? I like this. It's like a bookmark. It's pretty. Okay, so my ink cartridges. I think I will use an ink cartridge just to start with to get things going. Look at this little bed. So cute. Okay. I like the box. So here it is. Okay. So it's, it's this blue color. I don't know if you can tell how beautiful it is, but it's so pretty and it feels so I don't know, so dainty. It does kind of look a little magical to me. And it has like some shimmer in it. I can't, I don't think you can see it. Can you? Anyway, it's beautiful. All right, let me not do the same thing that I've done before. Let me take all the cap off completely. I should order a converter for the sailor. I don't have a sailor converter, do I? Do I have one? Did I order one for my 1911? I might have. I may have one. All right. We'll let gravity do its thing. Look at that nib. Am I in frame? <laughs> Where am I? Look at how pretty that is. Anyway, it's a medium fine. I'm trying to see if you can see the um, shimmer on this. It's got some, not yeah, I guess some shimmer. I don't think I, I don't think you can see it. So pretty. Okay, let me get a different pen so you can compare the sizes. 
Okay, just for size reference, I brought some other pens to compare in size. That's a Twisby Eco, the Pilot Metropolitan. My One of my vanishing points, actually the Decimo, I think. It's a little bit longer than that one. The Kakuno, the Lamy Safari, and this is a Sailor 1911. So, out of all of these, it's the smallest. Look at the size of it. It's so cute. I love it. I love the size. Let me get closer. So, that's, that's how they are in comparison. Smallest to largest in length. So that's how it compares to the other ones, but look at it, it's so cute, but posted. The only thing is I wish it was a, a snap-on post because I do prefer that. Posted, look at it, it's so pretty. It's a good size for me anyway. Let me see how it compares posted to, well, this one doesn't post obviously because it's a decimo. So posted, it's actually longer. Let me post this one and see how it does. That's, it's actually about the same as a 1911 when it's posted. This one's longer for sure. I will stay posted. This one's longer. The Kakuno's longer. Let's see, let me post this one. This one's pretty long too. Anyway, if you don't mind a shorter pen, I've always had issues on posting this one. I don't know why. I think because this is up some. I think I need to tighten that somehow. I'll have to watch one of the Goulet Pens videos. That's one of the reasons I like buying from Goulet Pens because they have so many helpful videos. That I feel like I'm, I'm appreciative, appreciative of those videos. But look at it. Isn't it so pretty? And I do like thicker pens because I feel like I get a better grip on them. And I can write longer, have longer writing sessions without my hand, you know, cramping up. I think it's beautiful. All right, let me close these back up and see if the ink has come down yet. I'll just hold it upside down while I do this. I like how this one doesn't screw on. This one too. This one I have to screw it on. This is my ultimate because it's a retractable. I love it. I love my vanishing points. For, for a while, I kind of wanted to try that mommy. I think it's is a, a dialogue that has... Um, a retractable one is that a retractable one the re dialogue I think so anyway I thought about uh, purchasing a dialogue but I don't know I don't think I'm gonna like it as much as my pilots anybody have both of them both the vanishing points and the Lamy retractable what do you think how do you think it compares okay the ink is down let me get to my swatching page today is actually Memorial Day so happy Memorial Day everybody five I don't know the date on <laughs> Memorial Day is it the 30th okay it's the 30th so 530 I do like the way it writes this one is the sailor Which one is it? What did I say? Oh, Shikiori. Shikiori in sky blue. And it's a medium fine nib. In the ink, it's just a sailor cartridge, whatever that is.
I do like the way it writes. Okay, so let's see how it compares to other nibs. So this is the one I just got. This is a Sailor Shikiori in sky blue with the medium fine point. This is a Pilot Decimo with fine, with the fine point. This is my Moon Man retractable extra fine. This is my Bennu. Obviously that one's a broad nib. No comparison, let me see. Ahab, I think that's a medium nib. Twisby medium, no comparison because it's a medium. Let me see, do I have any other? I think that's the only medium fine that I have. It's a Prera, a pink one. I don't remember what nib that is. I think that's a fine. Let's see, compare it to that one. Maybe it's, maybe it's a medium? Anyway, on this side, let's see what do I have. Maybe Blue Coleco Sport. Okay, this is the. Well, this is one of those other ones that was kind of like a dupe to the Prera. Um, I'm only gonna see. Oh, I didn't put a date on that one. Okay, so this is Twisby Fine. And then. Compared to the medium fruit. I really do like this medium fine. I'm happy with it. Very happy with it. Right now I'm I have my Pomonichi Weeks house in my new Maverick. I did a video on that one. Maverick leather Shake Sparrow. And I do, I do love it. I know somebody offered to buy it from me in the comments, but I don't think that's gonna happen because it's so beautiful. I do like it. It is thicker than the leather I'm used to, but it's so beautiful. It's beautiful to look at. And here it is with my new fountain pen. Isn't it so pretty? I love it. I love it so much. All right, that's all I wanted to show you today is my Sailor Shikiori in sky blue. And it is just beautiful. I'm so happy to have it. And I do have another one coming. There's four in this series, and I think I'm going to be sharing all four because I have to have the whole collection. So stay tuned. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.